Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Blitz Universe to the channel. We've got the second episode of the French Week in World of Tanks Blitz. And we're looking at Dark Exile here. He's in the AMX 50B Veteran, again with a great camo. I've also shown you this camo and the AMX 50B, of course, as well. All the How to Play Autoloaders video. Well worth checking that one out. And, well, I was kind of thinking about putting this game into that How to Play Autoloaders video because I had two great games in the AMX 50B. But Inca Panzer, he was in the Autoloaders video. Dark Exile is in the French week, and oh, I hope they are. Uh, I hope they're not angry at me for putting th them in these two spots. And Dark Exile is doing the right thing, exactly as I said. You should how you should play this tank at first. Don't go rushing in. Let your teammates spot. Keep an eye out on what is happening, and you can see that Dark Exile is driving away. But he's not really driving away, he's just aggressively relocating. Aggressive tactical redeployment. Why is that? That big gun. He wants to get a shot in on the FE 215B 183 Death Star. And he gets a shot in, and he bounces on the tracks, and then he's got to get another shot in, and then track him, and then he puts a blind shot in, and that one misses. So, it's uh, three shots fired, zero damage taken. <laughs> But zero damage dealt as well, so not good at all, not good at all. But then again, if you take a look at what is happening, nobody has flanked yet. We're 1 minute and 30 into the game. And if stuff like this happens, if you're sitting like this, he's also giving flank support to his team now. He's in the scouting role on the left. He spotted himself, not sure why and who and when, but it was probably this tank destroyer, one of the, either the E4 or that WZ and this is good, just drop down, use the gun depression, as you go around get another shot in, that one misses, that is four shots, yes, finally, six shots taken, 697 damage dealt, not brilliant, low rolls as well, but then again, no damage taken, but ooh, this is annoying, the FE fires too quick, shoots his load too early, and he's got to pay for that, one shot, there we go, track shot, yes, back up, Another track shot, yes, angle the tank already, and yet another track shot. This is great gameplay, just rush in, turret of the FE turns around, and then you can put three shots into the tank. That's how you have to play it. And then again, you get, get ran by the WZ-11 one, one, uh, something, who decided to fire AP, which is probably what saved Dark Exile here, and then the FE decides to shoot Ash, bounce on the gun, and Exile can just about to get on the side of the WZ11 something and that tank is thinking about shooting because he's reloaded but that gives Exile just enough time to get behind the tank safely <laughs> safely reload and get, get saved by the A50M which I think is actually quite good you could think well why did he shoot him? It's, uh, it's kill stealing yeah well that would have been a 400 alpha shot into a really low health tank. And this was better. If, if he had fired that one shot on the WZ, he would have not been able to clear that T124. Well, well, he would have been able because he missed the first shot. But I don't think there's really things like kill stealing in the game. I, I really don't. People say that is, oh, you stole my kill, but it's not like there are tags written on tanks that say, well, you are allowed to kill this tank. It, 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 in the beginning of the game, it's just you have to just do damage as much as possible. And Exile is telling his E50, I'm now, hold position, mate, I'm reloading. What are you doing? Why are you pushing in? There's a Leopard on your back, there's an E75 and an IS-7, and this is great stuff. Just clear the first tank. That's the tank with the lowest health. You can clear him in one shot. Two shots left. Can he finish off the Leopard? Yes, he can. E75 takes out the E50M, go in, clear the leopard, yeah, and stop. And then get another shot in, all the E75, great, 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 great. And now we save for a reload. He's on 5,598 damage, and an E75 is, well, he's a, a one magazine kill for him. Not a one shot, but a one magazine. So you just keep driving around, into cover, until you are reloaded. 
And now it's just cats and mouse. If that's 75 rolls high, could he probably... No, he won't be able to clear him. Especially not with the low gun 345 alpha. One, two, and three. Yes. Last man standing. Only for a little bit, but still last man standing. Really good game. Bit lucky in the beginning. I admit the WZ made the mistake of shooting AP instead of HE. That FE kind of goofed up. But then again, an auto-loading tank played to its strengths. Thank you very much, Dark Exile, for allowing me to use this replay in the French week. And here we have another one. A bit of an oldie. VVK9901 sent this one to me. He's in the Fosh, as you can see. And he's on Mayan Ruins, and it's a supremacy game. Uh, keep an eye out on that Object 263, because there's going to be a bit of a, a, a quiz question in the answer. The first, that Object 263 decides to go forward, and then all of a sudden he's going to take a right turn here. And he's going to be a little bit angry in about a minute, I think, something like that. And to be honest, I've been able to figure out what happened and what happened. I mean, this was a little bump in, uh, bumping into each other, but, but nothing, no harm done, really. Um, VVK, or, however, decides to not push into A cap, and that is a good thing, because he's in a Vosh, he has a good gun, but he hasn't got a turret. So then you're better off sitting in long lines of sound like this, and not if not just around the corner. That, that's not the most brilliant thing to do. Um, they can team up on this E100. There we go. One shot in. Yes, then the 263 is going to roll in, and they're just going to get to burn through this E100. Yes, another shot in. Yes, there we go. There we go. 426, and the 263 finishes off. I think he does. Yeah, he does. Right. This shot misses on the FE. And here's where the... The fun begins. Keep, a, keep an eye out on what's happening. One shot into the FV, another shot into the FV. Uh, VVK backs up, the 263 backs up. The 263 then wants to go in between VVK and that carpet of the E100, and he gets blown up. Yeah, uh, just, just stupid play, I think, by that 263. VVK is sacrifices a few hit points to kill, uh, to shoot that FV 215B183. And then this, the 260 says, thanks, thanks for luck, Vosh, thanks for luck. Huh? What did he do? It, it didn't do anything, uh, at least not that I could see, he didn't block him. It was just a stupid move. Oh yeah, there is, hello, this is what he was waiting for, that FV215B, the Death Star was still there in the bushes. And he has fired, so let's push it, oh that one misses, that's a 478, the T54, he won is at work, get another shot in, yes. Can you shoot him? No, no gun depression, no gun arc to the right. Ooh, don't want to get shot. Yes, get that shot in on the Death Star. The Conqueror is low How? There's still three tanks, three versus... Th it's now two versus three, which is uh, not good. And the FV does not know what to do, so ram him. Yes, great stuff. Doesn't get a ram kill. But if you can bring him down to a one-shot for the T-54E1, then you can probably finish him on the S440. He's willing to take the shot. VVK is willing to take the shot from the WZ120 because he can shoot him once and the 54E1 is now reloaded. Nearly. <laughs> VVK gets him just a bit quicker. This is good ad hoc platooning. It's, it's, it's an auto-loading medium tank. Platoon, quote unquote, with a tank destroyer, with a tank destroyer with a good rate of fire, a good gun, which does 400 alpha per shot. So that's 1330 between the two of you. And you can take two shots in this, uh, in the Fosh. And if you've done two shots, then the T54E1 will already be reloaded. And he's also doing the right thing by going together with VVK. And he realizes what is happening. VVK has got the cap. That means we can double tap that Yark Tiger. We've got him pincered. VVK is rolling up the back. He's going to shoot the Yark Tiger up the ass. And the Yark Tiger probably overcommits. Why well, he has to do something that's two bases, Captain. Reds have got A. Reds have got C. 
and the 54E1 realizes he's going to go down, but he puts three shots into the arc target. Can he survive just a little bit longer? Yes, yes, no, no, no. What you do? Don't drive backwards, mate! <sighs> Why did you do that? Uh, yet another shot? You can't get it, right. And then VVK decides to do this. Just back up. The Yark Tiger has to make a move. And remember, a Yark Tiger has a fixed gun as well. So he's not that flexible. You can just wait and then shoot him through the lower plate. No problems whatsoever. Nearly 5k damage. Zero blocks. But a fresh plate to perfection because he got the mastery a top gun as well and 263 thank you very much for 1376 damage dealt and one kill thanks for luck and this guy shout out to you buddy for the fun really well played vvk wouldn't have won the game without you but there's also games where the player that is playing where our Savic, the Batch of 25T, really, really has to carry. And this tank, like said on the hall, how to play autoloaders video, an autoloading tank, the longer the game lasts, the more hit points that have been knocked off enemies, the more dangerous a tank like this becomes. Because you can do 930 burst damage. 310 per shot. That means if you have tanks, it's, 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 it's a massive open door. But if there are three tanks on the red team that have got 310 HP left, you can shoot them all three, kill them all three with just one magazine. And our savvy is going to be uh, savvy over here, as you can see, he's got three shots in the magazine, he decided to go into A, just wait a little bit to see what's happening, and then he realizes one medium tank spotted on the red team, and that probably means that reds are pushing D slash C cap in for the right. Roll in, try to see if you can get a sneaky shot in on that fearless, for example, maybe even one shot grill, can you finish him off? Where is the grill? Yes, there it is. Lovely one shot. 307 and on the one in. Yes, that's a tank kill. And here, Savik makes a bit of a mistake. He decides to roll in, but he's not reloading yet at all. He's got a seven seconds left, and that leopard can shoot him once, and then the 54 cannot really help him. I think he should have waited just a little bit because he can still not shoot the leopard, and then the leopard. Yes, that's one shot into the leopard. He's got two shots left in the magazine. Can he get another shot in on the Leopard? No, that Leopard has run. That Leopard has run away. And Steffi decides to keep two shells in the magazine. Because he does not want to get caught out in the open without being able to shoot anybody. And that means he's got 620 alpha left. And then this tank, a compound a juicy target. Well, this is a good one as well. T61, yes, one shot. T62, sorry. One shot. No, the other shot misses. And now he has to reload. And that ISA down there. You see him? He's going to play it smart. He's going to be smart. That leopard as well. He's just providing flank security. No need to push in on any tanks. So if he can shoot the T-62, track him, no damage dealt, that's a forging, a little bit of resistance, one shot into him, yes, there we go, and uh, that one shoots into the building. And this Isaac down here is now proxy spotting Savvy. He cannot move. Luckily, it's still uh, two on two, as you can see in terms of kills uh, done. Five tanks versus five. Yeah, this should be doable. That, that's five versus five. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> three versus five. Well, uh, three versus five. Well, when it's three versus five, that, that is somewhat doable. Unless you start bouncing shots. And Savvy can really not do anything. This IS-8 is it, it's <laughs> two versus five. Yeah, well, two versus five. You might be able to do something when it's two versus five. Let's see what we can do. It's, it's an I-7 after all, so shoot this. Come Panzer up the S once, and then quickly, quickly reload and shoot him again. Yes, there we go, and now it's one versus four. So he reloads, wants to get a full magazine, bounces a shot for that Alpha from, what's it then? The AMX 5120 probably, and realizes that if that AMX pushes in, he's reloaded once. And another one, come on, mate. Yes! <laughs> Great stuff. That's one tank taken out. 
but an ISA was still down there, proxy spotting him like a boss. And that's annoying because if you look at the hit points, that IS-8 is not a one magazine kill. And this Leopard is playing it perfectly. Not rushing in, trying to bait the shot, but yeah, he pays for it. He bounces, yes, and pop! Goes to the turret. <laughs> Leopard played it well. Maybe he should have gone for a drive-by shooting. I don't know, but he was... He played a good game. But this IS-8, yeah, he's... <laughs> He's got a dead right, that, that probably explains why he was not rushing in together with the Leopard. And the rest are not really playing this really smart because now there comes a really big gun. Ooh, hello! Miss me! Yes, he did. The FE215P183 Death Star, nicknamed Hammer, decided to rush in and shoot just a little bit too quick and yeah Savin had to take this shot from the eyes it is not th something that you want to do if you are a bad chat he's lucky blocking 750 damage one shot from the leopard maybe on the gun or on the gun mantlet and a 400 alpha shot from the 50 120 was probably just on the tracks but Savik has to do something because enemy's team is close to 1000 victory points but so is his team but I'm not too sure if they are able to make it. Just look at that. One shot. Yeah. Ooh, run away. Run away. Is he going to fire? Is the Death Star going to fire? This is risky. This is risky. You can get shot at the ass if he's not careful. If he's... But he's unspotted now. Good, 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 good. Right. And what he's going to do now is just great. He drives into the red cap. You see that? They've got one cap. Reds have got one cap. And the FE does not know where he is. So go out, make sure that the clock is in your favor. And a one shot, yes. Two shots, and the FV fired. Can he get him just in time? Yes! Bravo! Formidable. Really well played. If you send me an early game, mate, I know that one on Black Goldfield, that one was good, but this, great stuff. Mastery, Top Gun, High Caliber, Pools, Metal, Kolobonos as well, and 1738 base XP. A lot of that gained obviously from capping the bases, but great game. And this concludes episode 2 of the French Week. My name is Martin Doga, I see you all tomorrow on episode 3. Cheers, happy tanking!